Um, my second list of the day, this is very practical, right? That was like big, big, huge picture, spending millions of dollars trying to figure out your situation in life, especially if you're going to Boston College. But this is some real practical advice. And this is five tips um, to deal with bad smells as a nurse. And I think this is amazing. This is amazing information. You need to know this information because it's going to help you. It's going to help you in many, many ways. Uh, 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 through and through. If you're a nurse, I don't care when, how, or where, you are going to need some of this information. So let's bang through this. So number one, make sure you know your patient. Research your patient. Understand if your patient has been vomiting, has been uh, diarrhea, all of these things. You don't want to walk into the room uh, with all nice, with your, you know, snacks in your pocket, chewing some gum, feeling real good, and then the smell hits you right in the face. Right, because they were testing him for C diff. They don't have the results yet, but you go in there with no precautions on. You don't know if the patient's been puking all over the th the smell of puke just hurts my nostrils like never before. So research your patient. Make sure you know what you're walking into, so you don't walk into just D day of smells. Right. Um, keep the patient and the patient's room clean. This is super understated, but it's important. Just even you yourself. If you go a couple of days just slumping around in the house, rolling in your own dirt, watching Netflix and eating junk food, you're going to smell bad. You're going to have some B.O. around you, right? And the room's going to get some trash. And the things are going to litter and things are going to start smelling. So make sure the room and the patient is clean. I think that's just obvious things, but people look past it because there's so many things that need to be done. Take care of what needs to be taken care of so you make your life easier for moving forward. Um, so there's a, a huge list of tips. Number three is tips on the, act, the, the physically not smelling the smells, right? Um, so I'm going to go through some of these things. And so follow these tips to degree some odors. Put some coffee grounds in the patient's room. Coffee grounds are powerful and absorb sources, um, many sources of smell. Um, I agree with this, I guess. I do think coffee is a strong smelling scent. If you like coffee, if your patient doesn't mind the smell of coffee, great. If not, I don't think it's a good idea. Um, wear two masks, overpowers the bad smell. Makes sense. Um, I remember in nursing school having a conversation in class like, is it disrespectful if you wear a mask? You know, if the patient's not on precautions, but you wear a mask, if you're changing a patient, it's not disrespectful. Yes, it's a human thing that everyone makes moves their bowels, but if I'm a patient and someone wears a mask because they don't want to smell, that's respect it's embarrassing it's it's awkward yes but it's not disrespectful i am going to take this to the death of me i want to do the best job i want to do but if i'm a little more comfortable cleaning you up if i have a mask on that should be fine i don't i don't know let me know in the comment section below what you think because we had a huge discussion about this at nursing school and i do think it's a really important topic and maybe further i'll make a longer video about it but wear two masks, Scare, carry a travel size container of vapor rub and apply it under the nose. I did this as a kid. I used to put vapor rub as, as a kid under my nose when I had sinuses. It goddamn works. All you can smell is that vapor rub for like weeks, weeks. Um, that's why I put very little. <laughs> go easy, go easy. Put more if you need it, but go easy in the beginning. Wear some, uh, wear a mint flavored, wear mint flavored chapstick, useful. Chew strong mint flavored gum, useful. Put a dab of toothpaste between the two masks. I never knew this. I think it's amazing advice. I have to try it. I have to have to try it. It sounds legit because I feel like the vapor rub and the, I don't like having things in my mouth when I'm changing. I feel like I'm tasting it. So the VIX is too strong for me. I don't want anything. I don't want to be eating anything with those bad smells around me. So the toothpaste for me is legit. Um, Listerine strips, that's super strong. I don't like the Listerine strips, the what it does to my upper um, gums. And then cough drops. Like I said, I don't like things in my mouth. But if you guys are okay with it and it lets the smell go away, those are the, the tips. So that was all number three. Number four, breathe through your mouth. This, I, I, I do this often. I try to breathe through my mouth. Um, it's useful, but then sometimes you forget. And it's just uncomfortable because it's not my normal way. So it, it, it can get difficult. But if you do breathe through your mouth, you just smell less. It's just obvious. And then this one, I love that they added. And I think kudos for them for adding it. Think empathetic thoughts. Like I was talking about, about the wearing a mask in the patient's room when there's no precautions needed. Yes, you are empathetical. You, you have some empathy for the patient's situation. Like I said, it's super awkward. Imagine you're doing your own thing all day and tomorrow, due to some accident or illness, someone has to clean you up. 
right? Someone has to take you to the bathroom. Someone has to clean up your vomit. It is, it has to be one of the most awkward, embarrassing, uh, just uncomfortable situations ever, right? So be as empathetical as possible. Don't go in there and say, ew, what in the world? This is gross. I don't see any nurses doing that, but I just, I feel like I have to because like you just have to. Like I always feel horrendous for these patients, especially, it's just, it's, 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 it sucks. It sucks, it sucks, it sucks. For both people, right? You don't want to be cleaning this up. And of course, yes, you don't want to be cleaning this up, but imagine what the patient feels like. Just imagine.